as a way of traveling, Kate Walker. I know, Oscar. I promise I'll let you out as soon as possible, okay? Okay, Oscar. Now we have to find Dana's old house. Do you recall the number, Kate Walker? According to her registration form from the Music Academy, it was number 20. The bridge is exactly the same as it was back in the 1930s. Except that it's cleaner. It looks almost new, as if it had been renovated. A book about Vaughan's history during the war. Maybe it could be useful later. One thing's for sure, this souvenir wasn't made in Wagen. Whoa! That's one shrill version of the hymn of Wagen.
Looks like the residents on the bridge are pretty mad at the town council. So this is where Dana grew up. I wonder if she'd recognize the town of her childhood today. I think she would. That is, if she's still alive. The musical square looks like it's turned into a tourist trap, whereas in the bridge district, it seems like time stood still. It's quite eerie, really. Like if the neighborhood were artificially frozen in time. Lots of houses on this bridge. Oscar, any idea where the Roses might have lived? I suggest you cast an eye over the registration file that the rector of the Music Academy gave you. In loving memory of all those who lost their lives that terrible night. Some of the names are covered up with dirt. How can I clean it? Protests in the neighborhood and a big storm coming tonight. I sure wouldn't want to be in the mayor's shoes right now. There's number 20. Dana's old house. Tag, Fräulein. Made in Wagen. More gifts. I would have preferred it to still be full of paintings, I think. Um. 
All our gifts are handmade by craftsmen in Wagen. On holiday in the region, Fräulein? Just passing through. Well, welcome to my little gift shop. Frau Heigel at your service. I noticed you were looking at a souvenir, Fräulein. Yes, you have a wonderful choice here, Frau Heigel. Your shop is beautiful. Thank you. All our souvenirs here are pieces of craftsmanship, as we like to say. All by local craftsmen. Do you wish to buy the souvenir, Fräulein? Well, I'm actually looking for someone, not something. Someone who used to live in this house, and I was wondering if you could help. Well, there were quite a few owners before I bought the shop last autumn, so I can't really... So her name was Dana Rose. She lived here before the war. I was hoping to find some kind of trace of her here, so I could continue my search. I see. Well, I have heard of the roses, but I can't say if there's anything left of them inside the house. But don't you live here? No. My husband and I live in the suburbs. You see, the bridge was sacked just before the war, during the pogrom against the Vagrans. Oh, truly awful events. And then the neighborhood was bombed, just after the war, during the liberation. And many of the houses were damaged, including this one. They were hastily renovated after the war, but they remain mostly derelict. Well, it doesn't look like the house was damaged, from what I can see. Your shop is charming, and so is the rest of the district. Thank you. That's because after the initial renovation, the council financed major rehabilitation work on the facades. But if the truth be told, they left the proprietors to foot the bill for our interiors. That's why my husband and I had to spend all our savings so that the shop interior shows the same high standard that we demand of our suppliers. That's a shame. Yes, and if the council persists in refusing to help fund the renovation works, there won't be any residents left on the bridge, let alone independent quality stores like mine. There'll be nothing left but bland franchise stores, like the one further along the bridge or on the musical square. You mentioned a pogrom against this neighborhood's vagrant community. Can you tell me more? As much as anyone who knows anything about Wagen, I guess. It happened in 1938, if I recall correctly. A few months after Austria and Ostertal were annexed by the Brown Shadow. What happened? Well, the Brown Shadow organized riots against Vagarans on false pretexts. It led to pogroms throughout all the annexed countries, including this house. Were the Roses home when it all happened? Like I said, Fräulein, I don't know, but I hope not. So between the pogrom, the bombing, and the whole house being renovated, there's little chance of me finding any trace of the roses. It's not quite like that. To be honest, we didn't have the funds to renovate the rest of the house. So we used the upper floors for storing. Really? And now that you mention it, I do recall coming across old photographs from before the war, here and there in the house. The successive owners didn't want to throw them out, and I suppose they must have left them there. Would you mind if I went upstairs to take a look? Unless you would kindly bring the photos down yourself. Well, I can hardly leave the shop unattended while I go... I don't even know you, Fräulein. I see. In that case... Would you mind if I had a look upstairs myself? Don't take it personally, Fräulein, but I don't know you enough to trust you. I'm very sorry. Now, if you'll excuse me, Fräulein, I have a customer. I conjecture that you were inefficient in trying to persuade the shopkeeper, Kate Walker. How are you going to access the upper floors now? I don't know, Oscar. 
By getting creative, I guess. I conclude I can trust you on that score, Kate Walker. Sorry, but you'll have to wait your turn, Fräulein. Excuse me, I must just serve the gentleman. If I could manage to draw Frau Heigl this way, I'd be able to get through the service door and to the staircase without her noticing. But how? Awful noise. Excuse me, sir. Oh, there it is. How awful. That certainly doesn't belong in my shop. We don't sell such cheap and tacky items. Great. I don't think Frau Heigl's noticed a thing. Why don't you try to locate Dana Rose's room, Kate Walker? Then you can look for more clues about her. Good idea. Let's just hope Frau Heigl won't come up. This photo shows the house partially destroyed. Must have been taken after the bombing that preceded the liberation of Wagen. More stock for the shop. It's dark in here. Hardly surprising with those windows boarded up. This is where Frau Heigl must take her breaks. In remembrance of the eternal bond between the Roses and the Zimmers. Signed, Adam Z. Nothing of interest in here. A 
A double bed, plenty of space. Must have been Dana's parents' bedroom. So where is Dana's room, then? The number of rooms don't add up. Just what I needed. Portrait. That must be Dana with her parents. It's been bricked up, most likely during the post-war renovation works Frau Heigl spoke of. According to the light and the clock behind Dana, her room must face north. Huh. The bedroom in the background of the portrait must be located in the attic. 